Coming up, it's the newest thing in insulated panels. I think we have a roof, folks. Could this be the future of building? These things per panel are only about 44 pounds. No, seriously, it's really light. And the latest thing in construction. 15 minutes in, and the subfloor is down. For a long time, structural insulated panels have been the standard in the industry. Foam insulation is sandwiched by two pieces of oriented strand board. This is a pretty tried and true system, partly because it's so simple. But there's a new kid on the block. It's lightweight, highly engineered, and so simple to use. Today, we're going to build a thermosteel demonstration house. Panels average about 40 pounds. Very, very light, very structural. They're very rigid. You don't have to worry about them flopping or breaking. The standard panel comes with wire chases for electrical work, and custom wiring channels can be cut with a hot knife. And unlike wood panels, this doesn't compromise structural integrity. Steel stud tracking holds the panels in place. Why would an actual homeowner choose something like this over going with stick framing? These panels are totally customizable. They come in a range of different sizes. Most standard panels are 4 by 8 panel, and they're made to be shiplapped. So they just flop into each other, and you screw them all off. So you guys have got the mock foundation set up. Tell me how these pieces are going to go together. Meet Pete Brosey, a man who thinks the homes of the future will be framed without wood. We're going to start with panels that are 4 foot by 8. We'll have a bearing foundation here in the middle. So these things can work as flooring as well. Right. Walls. Exactly. 15 minutes in, and the subfloor is down. Then the floor is sealed with Vicor to prevent moisture, and a guide track is installed around the perimeter. This is something you'd use on a window wrap, anywhere in the house where you don't want moisture penetrating into the seal. And they put that there to help shed the water between these two surfaces. Now we're ready to put up the walls. For this stage, we're going to use panels that were pre-assembled locally and are delivered ready to stand. Quite often with structured panels, they're pretty heavy and you either need a lot of manpower or sometimes even a crane to move them. But these things per panel are only about 44 pounds. It's not bad, even I can lift it. No, seriously, it's really light. That's awesome. Where are we at in the process? Now we're beginning to build a gable and using standard sized panels, cutting them, shaping them to create a beam pocket to support the pitched roof and a beam pocket to support the flat roof. So these panels are able to be modified on site so that you're taking a stock piece and actually making a custom build with it, yet you're keeping your costs down. So who's buying this stuff? Is it contractors? Is it DIYers? Anybody who's interested in energy efficiency. Really, a homeowner is looking at a little higher upfront cost, lower labor costs for the build, and then they're going to definitely save, in the long run, 30 to 50 percent, you're saying, energy savings inside the home because of the better envelope that they're getting. Right. Okay. You're looking at about a year and a half, and you've repaid your building, and then the savings are going right in your pocket. You got it? Yep. All right, three down, one to go. What is it about this stuff that makes you go, yeah, that, that's what I want to use? The versatility. Now we have a window. Wall number four. The nice thing with this is, once you get your walls up, your insulation is already done. Now that's a treat. Thermosteel is no treat for insects. Look at that. There's a little spider on there. But you know what? There is nothing of nutritional value for any little critters in here. It does not have a repellent in it, so it's not toxic. Uh, but it is not nutritional. I think we have a roof, folks. Well, where do you think the future lies with these things? Is this that last no. evolution of this, or is there somewhere further? Well, I think we're going to be opening up walls someday and be seeing wood and say, look at that. We used to build with wood. We used to cut down trees to build houses. The future is buildings that don't cost anything to heat, that go up very quickly and leave very little imprint. 24 panels, 1,000 screws, and our demonstration house is done. Now, I'm going to take you to see what a finished house looks like. So I just came from the demonstration of putting one of these houses together, and this one looks nothing like the other one. You sure that's what's underneath? Oh, I'm positive. Bill Gabriel's crew framed the second floor of this new home using thermosteel in just four hours. There's a lot of building options out there. Why do you use this product? Well, the uh, high level of insulation you get from it, the ease of installation, and then when it comes to you, all your windows and doors are pre-cut. Bill plans to use Thermosteel exclusively in his buildings from now on. My customers are a lot happier, and uh, they're going to save a lot of money. My next house will be Thermosteel all the way up through. 